it's interesting the the twenty third Psalm, thou preparest a table before me in the presence of mine enemies. And you got to ask yourself, for me, like in this whole meditation, like practically, what do we do when the enemies at the table yell food fight, right? <laughs> and what was so glorious this week to be, uh, I see it as a gift, is that the outer world provided me an opportunity to meet an enemy, right? To actually meet those, I mean, what do we think of as our enemies? You know, I know my younger understanding of this verse was like, you know, people or individuals, but it it truly is those parts of humanity, those parts of ourselves, those parts of the whole that are uh, not, uh, that are distorted patterns. You know, they could be judgment. They could be condemnation. They could be a sense of pride, like somehow I am better or you're better, or, you know, it could be shame. All of those are, are the enemies of this reality that wants to be re expressed. The one who dwells in me, the one who dwells in you, this is the part of us that wants to be expressed. And I, I got to meet something like that this week that was, um, it, it was really a beautiful thing because at first it wasn't very comfortable, right? <laughs> it wasn't very comfortable because it, in what was meeting me was, you know, a, a voice, it was coming through a person, but it was a voice of, of judgment, criticism, you know, uh, and what I noticed in myself is that tendency to want to correct them to be right to you know whatever the case may be and and i literally had to become conscious in that moment and choose to meet that from a high place and to allow myself to get there right is is as if that higher self in me was witnessing my humanity that outer dimension of myself wrestling with this conundrum and all I knew was that I had to devote myself to finding the higher wisdom, to, to finding the higher way. And in that, it was a beautiful gift because it's like I got to take a look at those parts of myself, the enemies that were sitting at my table. When Let's face it, folks, when we're sitting at the table with our friends and we're all in this communion with our true selves and witnessing each other, we don't necessarily get those opportunities and as when we're sitting with our enemies, as when our enemies come to dinner and we get to see those parts of ourselves that actually are calling to be transcended, to be forgiven, released, overcome. And so I love it when <laughs> in these meditations, I get the opportunity to really uh, have an example in my life, like a real life opportunity to work with the things that we're meditating upon. So this was a wonderful, uh, um, it was a wonderful opportunity for me to show my devotion, that devotion that my humanity, those outer dimensions of myself has to the truth of who I am and to let it happen, to turn away from those perceived distortions and remember the truth and to let that truth express as my words, as my emotional body, as my intellect, what a gift. And so grateful for this opportunity to see the outer serving the inner in this beautiful way this week. So thank you so much, everyone. Good to be together.